Where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. Are we about to get an ad? <laughs> are we getting an ad? Are we getting an ad? You can use this tool. It's a virtual <laughs> extension that automatically compares. I remember that guy. Oh, he was really cool. To see he had a, a switch. You didn't hook up a, a, a ad blocker? Oh, here we go. You gotta monetize, guys. So, who is Striker, first of all? So the striker in this episode is played Norm by Norm Reedus. He's so good. <laughs> which was amazing. Um, I mean, that entirely happened because the pandemic was a thing, which, you know, is not a good thing, but it you know, worked out. And it's what? Like, what is that? Oh, what are you talking about? Because I heard it. I'm like, what did they pay him to get him to do this? This is insane. No, it's... he did it. So, so um, you know, obviously I want to talk too mm -hmm. out of turn, but, like, we, we had met um, through a um, – he has a production company. And I do a lot of demos. Oh, no, yeah, it's called Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, but, you know, I, I, I had a meeting with him, and he loved, uh, you know, he loved um, Has Been Hotel and, and a, a few other projects. And he was like, you know, we were, we were just, we, it was the first time I met someone um, uh, who, like, I didn't, I wasn't that familiar with um, his work uh, because I have never seen, like, The Walking Dead or anything. <laughs> so I was like, Oh, this guy's awesome. Like we just talked about cats and we talked about like just art and, and you know the musical cats. Yes. 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 Who knew? I should be like dormitory and be like jellical cats. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like we were talking about our cat, like our yeah. animal, which is, which, is, which is almost as funny. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like, uh, but no, he's an incredibly nice person. Like he was so, it was like a very like natural conversation. And through uh, through finding out that he like is has interest in my work, and we were also talking about you know some of like my ideas and just things in general, right? Um, it was a production company meeting, but um, uh, you know, I just uh, we it was while we were writing the episode, and I was like look at you know we were looking to cast and i was like you know maybe it, it doesn't hurt to ask like my mentality is just it doesn't hurt to ask yeah and i asked him and he was like hell yeah and we just you know do the pandemic yet yeah, how was he Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Maybe not that in quotes. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, it was it was it was yes like he was like yeah you know so um yeah so it, it was just because he he was available and and he you know, is interested in, in the, in this project, these projects in this world. And he was just like, yeah. I feel like it was kind of a favor, but it was yeah. very nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very cool favor. And he's he very, very nice. He did bring a crossbow to the studio though. It was really <laughs> I want that to be true. I really want that to be true. Yeah. But no, it was, it was very cool to, to get to work with him for this episode. Yes. It's, I mean, we're at a very pivotal part. We, we, we saw, I feel like we stopped it right there at just the right moment. The total yeah. shift. Yeah. Yes. Right yeah. at the, right at the, I remember ship. being very like a little anxious because you know like obviously the show gets very dark um and it will continue to get very dark mm -hmm. in future episodes. What? This On one... what? Season 2? <laughs> oh, season 2? <two. laughs> um but I remember this this is the first time that we really get a scene that's in the you know much darker and I was like, "Oh boy, I can't wait to see how this is going to go over because it's a little bit new." You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like it, it went was, over well. And you picked the right. This this was an R two scene, right? That they got. Yes. Yeah. This is the first R two scene. I think. Yeah. So the board artist that went over it, it just she goes so hard goes on so all hard. of her scenes, and and just drives up the intensity even more than might be present in the script. It's great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This this particular board artist, I found like I'm like anytime there's a really really dark or like fucked up scene, I'm like, all right, I know who to give well, it. This, yeah. this particular episode, I saw for months. It was in a board form, and you sent it to me really early on. So it was sitting on my phone, and I just I memorized the episode front to back in storyboard form, and then I saw this, and it was entirely different. Yeah. You hear the yeah. music, and you hear all the. You know, intensity, the lighting. Sound effects, I, it was a, it, it was it was chilling. Yeah. But, and we but, also find that a storyboard and a script are an actor's and artist's crutch. You don't want to rely. <laughs> you don't want to be have to rely on a storyboard or a script at any time. It, it yeah. hinders the artist. <laughs> just <laughs> improvise and then just animate straight forward. Yes. And yes. Just figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> It's oh true, God. Richard. I do my best work when I have no idea what's going on. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. And I do work when I know what stuff is going on, but not well. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I know what we're supposed to be doing, but nah. 
Not today, Viv. Not today. <laughs> what is it like? What is it like? What is it like being with this motley crew in person? No. You know, honestly, we do apologize. I am so zoned into the episodes because I haven't <laughs> seen them since they yeah. aired. So I'm like, can you guys shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was intense. Yeah. I appreciate it. She has a point. She has a point. It's awesome. It's so great. I just hugged everybody. It was like, wow, and really after two years, and I still haven't met you, Richard. Yeah, we've never been in person, and yet the love translates through the work. It does. Aww. That's the magic of voiceover is you're you're using your imagination to create these connections with people and then you you see them in real life later and it feels like like I was just we were just we were talking in the bathroom we actually about, <laughs> well, we about were kissing. We were having a chat. Yes. Well we were saying that it was kind of like it was like a family reunion, but good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never had a good family reunion. That's, That's, the yeah. This is the only good guy. Yeah. 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 I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie, and she's always five fucking feet away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're ever trying to. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a good phrase. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, would, I would love to hear about how you decide on the animation direction for these sequences. Yes, for me, yeah, it's very, yeah. very, yeah. very different kinds of animation styles yeah. that are all just so cool in their own right. Yeah, I mean, well, this one, I, I wanted to, to make sure that it was very clear that it was a draw. I mean, I feel like it's obvious, but, like, just in general, when drum trips happen, it's just an excuse to kind of expand the style. And um, From your experience. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> and animation. animation. No. Yes, um, and animation. <laughs> animation. I, I like having the excuse also to, like, kind of. Very, like, Do drugs. <laughs> 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 yeah, that too. Um, but no, um, the drug trip was meant to be, yeah, like this very like kind of Pink Floyd, very like you know abstracty, um, sketchier. But then I wanted to make each character's design like kind of catered to what they represented in like his brain. So it was like he is like the rubber hose or, or no he's in the clown costume with like kind of the rubber hose eyes and then the fizz is like black and white because it's meant to represent the past and he's also rubber hosey mm -hmm. and um and then mm -hmm. uh uh striker is like in sepia tone like kind of almost like a western movie and then um Verasica is like all like makeup like running down her face and just like super you know just a mess you know yeah um so so yeah that's where that sequence was and then this one was more straightforward I wanted it to be this bigger like grander musical I remember like giving talking to you about it like, oh yeah doing the uh, song yeah um and I wanted the style to be very Disney so it is like intentionally kind of Disney style like and, know, or off-brand Disney style. yeah and the thing that I thought was very interesting too about the uh the Blitz hallucination sequence, particularly when Stolas shows up, is that for most of the time, I think the dynamic between the two of them sees Blitz as the dominant one. Mm -hmm. But Sto but the, in Blitz's mind, there's oh, this yeah. depiction yeah. of Stolas as the one kind of mm -hmm. holding yeah. the chain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and being this sort of dominator that we never really see Stolas be when they interact, like yeah. as a third party. Yeah. But during well, the recording, we saw it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that, and that's point. and that's kind of reflective of how Blitz sees the relationship, which is that Stolas is in a power position from his, you know, position in general, like right. his class and his uh his status. Mm. So, you know. And this this changed a couple times too from the from the demo state because initially they were both gonna sit they were both yeah, gonna have musical song. sequences. Mm. Um and and because obviously because Moxie is so steeped in like musical theater and musical theater appreciation. Obviously, you have that kind of phantom esque sequence where Michael does an incredible job as our sort of phantom of the opera version of Blitz. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. And... Yes. 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 I remember too that that was like the only take you did of this version. Yeah. And and because originally it was much like more straightforward. Mm -hmm. Like I forget what do you remember what the original was. 
before we change it to him being like my precious little bitch boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so, like, so, like, completely changed yeah. And we so, loved it. so the my precious little bitch boy was an improv that Michael yes. did yes. where in you know we were getting it where initially because the character is so flowery it was like oh speak to speak to moxie in an unusually flowery way and then i think we were just trying to get you to be more condescending and i was like you know talk to him like he's a little bitch and then <laughs> you just started going off you little bitch boy and, uh that was i believe, I, believe really I followed that up with just act how you are when i'm trying to direct you <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that was, wow. we had to use it. It was just too funny in that voice. It was voice funny. To, it was to, to hear you, it was to hear you do that. Yeah, I, t I told you, I do my best work when I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, again, Legit. ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yes. Also, there's artful lyrics, like, the world's your anus, so take it with honesty. Oh, <laughs> yes. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. That's, that's Sam's you know favorite line. Do, we should do a greeting card. <laughs> Yeah. We should. <laughs> Happy holidays. And mom from Hallmark. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the world is your anus. Yeah. Where there's a hole, there's a goal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to say as well, like, in terms of, you know, Moxie's musical influences are obvious. Mm -hmm. Blitzes are not. So I, I just thought, okay, reggae. Like, let's just have... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I think a big part of it is, like, I desperately wanted to record Richard singing a reggae song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we did record it. It just... I, I yeah. Yeah. Heard it. Yeah. So it exists oh, somewhere. It does it. exist. Well, I was having a Mandela effect moment because I was watching the episode and I'm like, I thought I sworn there was a bit. I couldn't even hear it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Head of what yeah. Um, I don't think I've even heard the reggae. I don't think I've heard it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta send it to you. I gotta send it to you. Yeah. yeah. At, some, at some point, maybe cast album, little yeah, bonus track. Be, Richard, there right. we go. Maybe it'll be in the, in yeah. the soundtrack. Yeah. What about our live show we're planning? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I remember writing this was challenging because I was like, it was the first time kind of writing in a specific accent. And I was like, uh, uh, looking up like, <laughs> sayings from like, you know, like, yeah. said, and all these like allegories, like this, this is the, something of the, a, a beat or, or a porch on a rainy day. Or yeah, whatever, yeah. You know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. I always knew Spencer. Sometimes he would make it his hands. This is how Blitz views Moxie. Yeah. 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 I think the funniest thing is, yeah, this is what the subconscious is like. Moxie talks like this. Yeah. Mid Atlantic. Yeah. Yes, that's right. No. This is going. Yeah. 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 The yeah. sound is yeah. like. <laughs> it's like the the doodle form too, and and yeah. I, I liked um we we have it kind of go in and out of like the doodle form and the. Yeah. And the real character, because we were kind of grappling with the moment and mm. stuff like that. It was fun. This was just fun stylistically to figure out. so stylistically. cool. Mm. Yeah. Well, I have a friend who literally has this tattoo on her arm of, of, doodle, uh, of doodle Moxie. Oh, that's uh, yeah. You should sell like a Doodle Moxie mug. Yeah, yeah a little pin. Yeah. yeah, that would be cute. cute. Doodle Moxie's never satisfied me. He's always got that frown going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no pleasing him. Poor Doodle Moxie. <laughs> All the D Moxies, the Drunk Moxie, the Doodle Moxie, the Doo Doo Moxie. Moxie. Yep. Drag Moxie. Drag, Drag Moxie. Moxie. That's true. I love the like princess, like you're going to a, a nice oh, southern cotillion. Yeah. I love that. I love that episode. That's an episode four. That's yeah, the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Moxie with the little is, fan. Yes, a very high tier fanboy. Yes, <laughs> that, that doodle Moxie, drunk Moxie, and debutante. Moxie. But that oh, episode, oh, yeah. that episode, oh, yeah. Moxie dresses better than anyone on this show. When he <laughs> comes, when he comes in in that very first scene, he's got the tur the turtleneck, and the, it's like very like uh, steampunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just humans in general in the show have this very like invader zim esque dumbness. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's a little like the zim world, which is just the humans are just idiots. <laughs> it's like slightly, there's like more. I think there's probably more what you like, said normal you people in the first day with human world than that. No, uh, this is some really cool. Oh, yeah. This is, this reminds me of like my favorite scene in Kick Ass. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cha yeah. la 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 la. 
Yeah. I remember after the first draft was in, we had a, a Lily had us come back into the studio and re record effort because the animation was so good. She's like, okay, we need a, we need a couple more. We need to re some of the audio here because we need to cover me. The yes. thing I want to do more is that you know, these characters are human. So I like yeah, yeah. getting them to speak to really showcase like how scary they can be in the human world. This so reminded like, me yeah. of Gravemind from Halo. <laughs> Over yeah, everything, I, thought, I was like, Good I, job. I thought that Bryce sounded a lot like uh, the Phantom in that moment, yeah. right? It, it, his yes. voice sounded like like a Michael Crawford. Yeah, very yeah. I love him. This shot as the lights come on too is amazing. Yeah, I like the contrast of the intense with like an office, like back rooms -y background behind him. It was everything in season one. Like, that, that, I feel like I kind of, um, I took a lot of, obviously yeah. Bojack is one of my favorite series ever. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And they do a lot of like they're, they're like almost last episodes are like really the biggest one right. and then the, the last ones are more like the wrap up and we, we did a little bit of that where i feel like this is like penultimate or this one. is like the biggest episode it's like the climax and then, yeah it's yeah. like the climax of the actual like, first season and then the next one is like the climax of the relationship of the first season you know what i mean yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the relationships of the show um, Daddy. hello, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your ass in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't fuck with me. A lot of people have uh, caught on to me, Alejandro. Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what? I didn't know it. Wait, wait. Well, oh, it went to a different screen on the laptop. Yeah, oh, I was just gonna say, so we wrote this. You know, like the first season, obviously we recorded it, we were in production, we were working on it, but um, we were also like, like after recording that, nice. we were going right into like writing the next season because I knew where the story was going to go. And we, through writing the first season, we figured out where we wanted it to go. And this decision was made very early on. I was like, okay, I think I want them to have met as kids, and that kind of informed everything else. But wow. like, I it it was like so early on that I had to make that call because it informs everything else in the series. So, especially like, season two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. season yeah. two. Yeah. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> drink. drink. But yeah, it was it's just cool because the um, I think we lost the script. Yeah. We only had two episodes out of time. So and when I came already... into the production, uh, episode one of season two was already at least halfway done. Summer of 2020. Summer of 2020. Summer of 2020, and this episode is basically already done. Yeah. There you go. Cool, yes. Drinking. All, all that to say yeah. that this decision was made incredibly early on in the right. Like, you know, once we figured out through season I one. I love that. Was show to go, Where? Like, the biggest, like, you know, choice of, like, Informing the rest of the series, informing the back. So, like, everything well, thought up around that time. In season one? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think yeah. it's like these things take so much time that a lot of people think that, like, you know, decisions on an episode, like, oh, they listen, they heard, like, you know, what the fans They heard what we wanted, and I was like, no. No. Like, no, no, no that's, not how, that. that's not how animation that's works. works. <laughs> I, 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 that a lot of I think that's why the show is successful, because I'm like, you know, I, I know what I like, and so I'm writing, you know, we're telling the story that, like, we like and that we, we want to see, and it resonates with a lot of people because they also want to see the same story, yeah. and it's like, cool, um, you know, and I just, yeah. I like that, that's neat. Like, it, it's working out for us because I think there's a lot that happens in, in, as we keep going in the show that I think a lot of people want to see, and I'm like, well, that works out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you came up with it, honest. <laughs> So this whole sequence has so many objects. Like once the design team saw the boards, did they did they almost have a stroke when they're like, "Oh my fucking god, we have to design all these objects that go in all these shelves." I don't like, remember. I mean, this, that's a good question. But like, you know, so it was between Sam's, like, the, or Amanda's team, the the background team, and then the yeah, the prop design team. They have to communicate because the whole time it's like the characters pulling things off the background, and so like the backgrounds have to be designed, and then the props. Have to be the the individual that. props. It was complicated. <clears throat> it's so simple. It's very complicated. Viv, yeah. how many of the characters are you still designing the character designs on? Like uh, the main ones? There there will be like as far as like right now, um, for season two, every every major character is designed, I believe. But we're still yeah. we're designing a lot of like the, the new the, you know, every board has like new characters. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But um, how many do you usually do? Like a lot of them, I would assume. I usually do the main ones. Uh, sometimes, yeah. just, well, sometimes though, like um, another designer, like I'm just not, you know, because designs, especially a good one, it's kind of hard to nail sometimes. Like especially when you got other things going on, and for me, yeah. So I don't ever want to half-ass a design that's going to end up being, you know, a, character. a main character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so sometimes we'll have another designer like do some exploration that I like finalize, or like I'll start some exploration and then I'll hand it to somebody. Yes. But I can't, I can't wait for the next episode to. where That's I guess I can say this. When I it's an entire episode of them the going to puberty. The family. <laughs> <laughs> really good episode. Really good episode. <laughs> <laughs> Season two. <laughs> Season two. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, like my favorite. I love the sound that they gave. Yeah. Add such a like. It's I like. Nope. Everything went wrong. Rookie mistake. Fine. Later, you gotta leave something. Do this real fast. What the fuck was that? Was the sound of a fucking divorce? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
the squawk, the yeah. fucking divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it's like, I'm finally free. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. And then, like, the reality of, like, what a divorce in this universe would be and, like, actually getting her to agree to that is, like, where yeah. Moogle yeah. Land takes place. He's, he's like, really he's not there yet. It's months later. Oh, and, yeah. you know, he's had he's to, in the throes of literally a massive times. awakening. Yeah, I he's know, like, yeah. I know what I want in all of all. I know, yeah. yeah that makes sense. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fully crying doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, we were, we were. I remember that well, session stop. so. It's annoying to hear you screeching your uh, silly woes all Bryce the time. Bryce was in New that. York oh, and we god. were here, so it was late for yeah. him. Do you remember this? It was late yeah. for him. And he had been working on these on his own for, you know, days. And the very first take, we, we usually go, well, do you want to take, you know, this measure to this measure and then we'll move on. And um, he said, no, I want to do the whole thing. And right out of the gate, right out of the gate. I think that was pretty close to take one, wasn't it, Sam? It, 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 we only took this maybe four times. Yeah. Really, it was Whoa. so wow. Yeah. And then, you know, and, and we picked up bits of it in case we wanted to do a version that was much more kind of. But we were crying. Best and, yeah. you know, like spliced together. But that's also why you're hearing all those breaths in there is that yeah. is a start to finish take. Wow. There is no piece of another take yeah. that was put in there. He did that front to back. Yeah, and we were and we were crying. Remember? Yeah. And then, and then yeah. it was sad when we had to fire him. It was like that makes sense. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow, Bryce, that was really good, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, pack your things. <laughs> no, yeah. never, never. We love Bryce. He is so damn He's good. He makes me cry. It's so pretty. And, um, and actually, this gives you a sense of the timeline of, of how long it takes to write and then produce the show is yes. that this song musically was put together so far in advance yeah. that this, uh, that middle piece of music, the then you walked in my room and like sparks in the dark, like that bit, yes. um, oh my was God. able to be interpolated in season one because we were yeah. still producing season one. Season one? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, but it's it's great. It's become like a piece of music yeah. that ties their relationship together. But, but that's the beauty of musical theater in general. How you hear like the phantom riff over and over again through different yeah, pieces, yeah. and that and that's yeah. beautiful, Sam. That's amazing. Uh, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, doing it for the first time. But I'm also like literally working on two shows at once right now. There you so go. I have no yeah. fucking idea, and I probably won't stream it. If I'm being honest, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't really do streams very well, except for like like this, where it's everybody. So, <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. No, I'm just, I, um, but either way, I will sign them. Anyone who has bought one from me. So much for the thank you so much for enjoying the episode. It's been oh. it was really nerve wracking because you know we haven't had an episode out in like almost a year. Like it was it's. It, it's we've been working on it like this whole season over this course of the year but there's also complications with you know a lot of people you know splitting their time with another project and things like that so thank you so much for the patience and thank you so much for the support i'm amazed that the the launch of this episode after so much time has it looks like we didn't skip a beat and oh, the yes. viewership has been amazing and just thank you guys like it's and so we're so fun. excited like this season we're incredibly proud of like i said we really found our footing in season one and we are so excited to like see where the show actually plays out from this point on. Um, and you know, thank you for understanding about the situation of why we're starting the season a little early um, before the other one. But we're gonna bring that one to you as soon as we can. And yeah, thank you. We love you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.